A lot of people know that Voyager 1 was the first spaceship to leave our solar system. NASA's Voyager 1 probe is bringing useful data back to Earth 40 years after it was launched. It is the farthest object ever made by humans in the universe. This is what Voyager 1 sent back that is making scientists worried. Think about a spaceship that was built decades ago and has made it through the dark, empty space far beyond where anyone thought it would go. Now, after wandering for a long time in the unknown, it sent back a message that no one saw coming. Could this signal be coming from a space area we don't know much about? Let's go deep into space and find the secrets that will change the world for good. The plan for Voyager's journey into the unknown back in the day was pretty simple. Send Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 to look at the planets on the edge of our solar system. Because of a unique group of planets, they could move quickly past Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune like they were in a cosmic pinball machine, thanks to the extra gravity. One of the probes set out on its journey in September 1977, racing ahead of its twin. By 1979, it had taken some stunning pictures of Jupiter and its moons. After that, in 1980, they went as Saturn. Everything we thought we knew about these gas giants and their strange moons was thrown out the window when it sent back pictures and data. One thing is for sure before we go any further. The message Voyager 1 sent back is much stranger than anyone could have thought, and it has more surprises in store for us. Things got even more interesting after all those close calls with planets. By 1990, the probe had finished its main job and was now in the process of leaving the solar system. That's what it did. It went into the heliosphere, which is a big bubble of space ruled by the sun space between the stars starts at the heliopause, which is the edge of this bubble. This is where the sun's magnetic field and solar wind end. It was the first man-made object to go into interstellar space when it crossed that line in August 2012. It felt like people finally got out of their little galaxy and saw the rest of the universe for the first time. Since the probe is now almost 14 billion miles away from Earth, it's not exactly easy to stay in touch. We have to wait more than 21 hours for radio signals to get here. Also, the spacecraft is farther away each day, and its power source gets weaker. Up until recently, it kept sending back useful information, mostly about cosmic rays and particle levels. But recently, things started to go in a strange direction. In 2022, scientists got a signal from the probe that wasn't like the others it had sent. Everyone at NASA got a little chill from this one because it was wavy and off-center. It looked a lot like the small spaceship was sending out a signal for help from deep space. At first, everyone thought it was more than 40 years old, which means it must have some bugs. The ship was never meant to last this long. After all, the nuclear battery-like source of toxic power that's kept it going is now almost out of power. But when the experts looked into it, they found that it wasn't just a random technical issue. The Angle Articulation and Control System ACS, sent the signal. What makes sure the spaceship is pointed straight is this part of the probe, especially the antenna that faces Earth. We won't hear from that receiver again if it's not pointed correctly. Even though the rest of the ship seemed to be fine, the ACS seemed to be sending back jumbled messages. Not only was this unclear, but it was also a little creepy. It's like getting a letter from someone who says they're lost but everything is fine around them. Scientists thought about many options. One was that after all these years, the ACS had finally begun to break down, possibly because of radiation from space. The probe has been taking in cosmic rays in space between the stars for more than 10 years. In a lot of different ways, this radiation can mess up technology. Some experts even thought it might have gone off into a strange, unknown part of space, where the conditions are so strange that they are messing up the spacecraft systems. It looked like there was even more waiting for Voyager in the dark, empty parts of space as it went farther out. It was like a message from deep space. It's a good thought that the probe might be drifting through an area that's different from anything we've seen before. There is more to interstellar space than just empty space. We're still learning about the cosmic rays, dust, and magnetic fields that fill it. Imagine that the spaceship is suddenly hit by particles that are denser than usual or drifts into an area with a very strong magnetic field. You can't say that it was built with a survival guide for every possible situation in the world. It is just a tiny metal box with some sensors and a nuclear battery that is trying to get through a place that is unbelievably dangerous. If the probe really does find something new out there, 
it could mean that our knowledge of interstellar space is very poor. There's no way to know what to expect because this is the first thing we've sent that far out. There might be more to the world than just darkness and nothingness. There could be light beams, energy fields, or something even stranger. Scientists are trying to figure out if this strange signal is just a one-time event or if the probe will keep sending these unsettling signals as it goes deeper into the unknown. The thing is, it's getting harder and harder to stay in touch with the tool. The signal it sends back isn't strong, and it's getting worse. These huge, very sensitive radio dishes are used by NASA to pick up the faint signals it sends our way every year. As time goes on, that moves farther away and uses less power to send a message. There are already a lot of tools on board that NASA has had to turn off just to save power. They think that by the middle of the 2020s, the spacecraft will not have enough power for even the most important sensors. No matter what it is, it is still out there for now, and this creepy signal is part of its story. People couldn't help but wonder if the probe had found something amazing, or maybe even scary when they heard about the strange broadcast. Was this some sort of radio call from space? Could the signal be being changed by something we haven't thought of yet? It could have seen something in the dark that no one could have seen coming. The logical answer is that this is just a problem with a system that is decades old and wasn't meant to last this long. But that hasn't stopped people from guessing. The path of the probe has always seemed a little magical. This tiny machine, which was made by people, is going out into the big unknown by itself. It's like a message in a bottle that's drifting farther away from its home world with a golden record on board that plays music, greetings, and sounds of Earth. It's a time capsule for whoever, or whatever finds it. Now, as it moves through space between the stars, it sends back a message that no one can quite understand. It sounds almost beautiful, doesn't it? Its path ends not with a clear answer but with a strange, maybe even desperate, cry from the darkness. This reminds us that no matter how much we have learned and accomplished, there is still a lot we don't know about the world. Some people think the probe is telling us that space isn't as empty as we thought. Others think it's just reminding us of how far away we really are. A small, fragile thing floating in an endless sea. Voyager 1 represents our drive to learn more about the world and our desire to know more about it. It's still out there pushing the limits, even though its system is slowly dying. The strange message it sent back shows how much we still don't know. It's simple to forget that this little spaceship, which was launched when disco was cool, is now farther from Earth than any other thing we've ever made. It has taken us to places outside of our solar system and seen things that no human I could ever see. The spaceship will eventually stop making any noise. Its power will run out, and it will stop riding to home. But it will keep drifting carrying that golden record as a lone piece of human wonder forever. Maybe someone or something will find it someday, or maybe it will just keep floating in space, out of sight, as a quiet reminder that we were brave enough to explore even though we didn't know what we were getting into. It seemed like the signal from Voyager was more than just a glitch. It looked like it had run into forces we still don't fully understand. It shows that we don't really know what's out there, even though we like to think we do. The signs are still there and we're still trying to figure out what they mean. That most recent message was different, something scary that no one was expecting. Even though we can't help but come up with ideas, some of which are based on facts and some of which are more like the plot of a sci-fi movie, interstellar space is still mostly a problem for us. The probe is out there by itself trying to get our attention. We're here on Earth, strained to hear it. Part of what makes this so creepy is that there aren't any. There are answers just waiting for us to find them. Instead, there are a lot of questions in the world, and the strange transmission is just one of them. We still don't have the tools to fully understand what's out there, if we're being honest. We are still trying. We are doing everything we can to figure out what these tiny, old spaceship is trying to say before the line goes dead. It was launched from a time when people didn't have smartphones. Imagine it moving further and further into the unknown, away from everything it knew and the sun that gave it life. It would be in a darkness it was never meant to handle. In the cold, empty space out there, it's seeing something that we can't see and is trying its best to tell us what's going on. It shows how stubborn people can be and how eager people are to explore, but it also serves as a warning of our limits. We made it and sent it, but we can't follow it yet. It's been 14 billion miles away, and the ACS glitch, 
or whatever it is, is still going. It's a stark warning that our technology isn't perfect. The problem itself is interesting, even if it turns out to be nothing more than a technology glitch. But what if there's something out there that Voyager's old computers can't figure out? What if space isn't as strange as we thought? The broadcast isn't just information. I see it as a sign of the difficulties of going into the unknown and a reminder that we don't always know the right thing to do. Voyager 1 interests us not only because of its technology and science, but also because of what it can't tell us. The spacecraft is out there, past the planets and beyond the sun's impact. It is in a place that no man-made object has ever been before. The record of who we are and where we come from is on a one-way road into the great beyond. Today, it's giving us messages that, even with our high-tech tools, we can't quite understand. That makes us think that, for all we know, we are still explorers in the best sense of the word. Data, cosmic rays, and views of Saturn's rings aren't the only things that Voyager 1 is known for. It's about how curious people are and how they want to know what's over the next hill. It's also about how people ask questions even when they aren't ready for the answers. Because people were interested, they sent Voyager into space to find out more about the world and maybe even about themselves. We can't even see it with the best telescopes anymore. It sends back sounds from the edge of the abyss, making us wonder what else is out there. Voyager 1's job isn't over, even though the time when it stops talking is getting closer. For many years to come, the information it sent and the things it found will continue to teach us. That strange signal, whether it's a sign of something new or just a glitch, is a warning that we still have a long way to go. Going out into space, there are more things to discover, more limits to break, and maybe even more signs from Voyager or something else. What it means is that we are still looking, listening, and trying to figure things out. Voyager's journey may be almost over, but what it has found out there makes us wonder and want to learn more. Lessons from a Brave Machine Voyager 1 built the base for what will come next. Beyond our solar system, it taught us that we can send technology to places we've only imagined. The next group of explorers, whether they are robots, probes, or even trips with people on board, will build on the path Voyager carved out. We are going to keep going beyond our sun, our galaxy, and into whatever is out there. We might someday get the answers Voyager 1 hinted at when it sent us that strange, messed up signal. Think about the Voyager spaceship, which is billions of miles away and appears as a tiny in the vastness of space. It is still going, even though it is losing power and systems are breaking down one by one. It is still trying to stay in touch. It's like a lighthouse in the dark. People will remember it even if the light goes out. People will remember what it did, where it went, and what it taught us about our own world. The road it's on shows us the way we should go. It's important for each of us to find our place, learn about the world, and maybe even leave something important behind. The Voyager 1 signal, whether it was a mistake or a real message, makes us think of how much we still don't know. This shows that the world can still surprise us, even when we think we know everything. It makes us feel small, and like we're just beginning to understand how big the world is. The thought that for every answer we find, there's always another question just waiting to be asked might be the most interesting part. Voyager 1 will keep going, floating among the stars, for a long time after it stops talking to us. It will stay there, a small piece of metal that stands for Earth and remembers the time when people bravely left the safety of their solar system. Its peace and quiet are beautiful, and they tell us that we were here, that we chose to see new places, and that we never stopped asking questions, even when we didn't know them all. The story of Voyager 1 is really our story. It shows how interested we are, how much we want to learn, and how much we need to explore. It makes us remember that there are still new places to discover, new obstacles to face, and new signs to look forward to. Voyager may finally go silent, but our journey, the human adventure, has only just begun. This is why our quest is so important. We keep pushing the limits because we are so curious and because space has so many options. Every sign or finding makes us wonder more, which pulls us deeper into the unknown. Every time Voyager moves farther away, it leaves behind something that makes us think about the future, be amazed, and dream. Let's not think of Voyager's journey as one that is coming to an end. Instead, let us see it as a stepping stone to bigger and better events to come. In the cold, 
dark depths of space. What will we find next? What fresh questions will be asked? And how will the solutions change the way we see the world? We keep looking up at the stars because these are the things that make us positive and excited about the future. Voyager's journey may be a small part of a much bigger story, but it makes us want to know more about the unknown. As we keep exploring, let's keep the spirit of Voyager alive by always looking for answers, always learning, and never being happy with the ones we find. In the end, isn't exploring all about the thrill of the chase? Every little thing found is a win in this big journey. We think and work harder every time we don't answer the phone. Our journey will never end as long as we are interested. Isn't that what discovery is all about? The thought that you can always learn, see, and understand more. Is Voyager one strange message just a glitch? Or could it be something much more important, like a word from space? Could there be things in the world that people aren't ready to deal with? Feel free to share your thoughts on this cosmic issue. And don't forget to like and follow Space Theory for more.